Welcome to Math 113 Online. I'm Mrs. Brown. I'm your instructor for this class. I have taught online for quite a while, um, about five years, and I have been teaching math and computer science for 11 years. So I want to kind of give you an overview of the course and what you will see on Blackboard. Before I get too far into that, I want to remind you that you should always check your Eastern email every day during the semester and also any other email that you might have signed in on Hawks. And then be aware that I can't talk to you about your grade or any sensitive information unless we're talking via Eastern email because it's the only thing that we can guarantee is going to be secure. When you get into Blackboard, um, you'll see our class, the Online Math 113, and sometimes you'll see an announcement right below here. And if you see that, be sure to click on that and you can see the whole thing. Sometimes I put a link at the bottom to make it easy for you to get where I'm talking about here, but definitely click on it, read it, make sure you understand what's going on with the announcements. If we go into the class, this is the view that you will have, and this is the initial block, and I've just put some reminders here about important things about the class so that you can see it every day. And the first thing is that wiki pages, Hawks assignments, projects, and exams have due dates at midnight on every Sunday. So for the previous week, all the assignments will be due by Sunday midnight. And that gives you a week to organize your time and decide when it is that you have time to work on your math class and try to get everything in by midnight. If you turn things in late, you will get a 20% penalty for that assignment, whatever it was. Once a unit is complete, you won't be allowed to work backwards in the unit. I need you to move on to the next unit. Summer moves so fast. You have to stay on track and you have to you have to keep your assignments um, as close to the schedule I give you as possible. Uh, the certify mode and web test, those are both on Hawks. Those are the only parts that you get a grade for from Hawks. There's also a lesson and practice mode, and you can do those. They're there to help you pass the certify mode. Sometimes you'll be required to do a practice mode if you do poorly on a certify mode, but they don't give you a grade in your gradebook. Um, wiki pages, you will have some of those to do, and those are to help you understand the content and sometimes just to summarize what you've learned. Those should be saved as a PDF and then uploaded to the assignment in Blackboard. And I'll, sh I'll show you those later. Um, for every exam, the password is success with an exclamation. And that's true for every exam except for the final exam, which has final success exclamation as the password. The password is there not to keep you from the exam, but just to let you know that you're about to start an exam so that you kind of get yourself into exam mode before you get going. And then see the Let's Get Started with Math 113 block below. If we slide down here, there it is. Let's get started with Math 113. And I have videos or text you can read through there. You should get the same information um, or just click on the videos and see my video summaries.